it's like it's like uh, 20 minutes after 9 a.m. As you can see, I was using this so that when I cut, and you see the piece cut off there, I taped these two maps um, to the floor, put the scrap paper there so I don't cut into the floor, use the piece of angle iron that I cut as a ruler, um, only find out this plastic protector that you just it like tape. Um, I was going to seal both of these taped maps. I was going to put the plastic on both of them, both sides, as well as this London Ghost Walk map here. And my idea was to laminate both sides, all three sides of all three maps to London and to be able to create a little book that will go on the wall so that um, so that if I need to reference or look at anything it's on the wall it will have a solid border around it probably a plastic and it will be just like a book a poster book that you put on a wall so if you want to go biking or walking or or know about the ghost walk and and the different places in london ontario um and as you can see um yeah it worked out really badly so that part of the laminate is is garbage but I've already checked. I can use this side for the ghost walk poster. Um, and I still got some left. So when I go out to get the foam for the foam poster board, um, for those lights that I got, um, I will be creating a jig. And I'm on page 86 of 99 pages in this here 1979 magazine so I just like when I was doing my business cards and kind them I realize now having a jig so that I don't ever have this problem again I don't throw my money away this video is for the process of learning and going oh why didn't I make that jig way back when I was making those business cards and you see oh I was waiting for somebody to build that with and then we were going to maybe make and sell business cards personalized business cards just something that a person can say oh you want to contact me this is who I am and this is where you can reach me at because not everybody has a business but being able to just give your number or your contact information makes a whole lot of sense just like having something maps where you can access them maybe on a wall or in a book where you can just open it up and go oh this this is what I was looking for and I was going to do this with everything from electrical to cooking to baking to you name it I was going to make posters to put on a wall and have them all like a book where you can just you know how you go to a store and you see all those posters that's what I was going to do for stuff that you know I need because you know these this stuff's real and it's not rocket science anybody can do it and doing it for people who don't want to or would just rather pay for it this is where you put any idea and you make money it's called starting a business anyway thanks